Hello guys, how are you all doing? In this video, we'll take a look at linked list cycle problem. Difficulty level is easy of that problem. So let's look at the problem statement, then let's look at the examples, and then uh, let's go from there. So we're given a linked list, and we need to say whether the linked list has cycle or not. So let's look at the examples. So our first linked list is 1, 3, 8, 10, 507, and then 7 points to 10. So obviously it has a cycle, so we return true. Our second example is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's a simple linked list, 25 points to null, so it doesn't have cycle, so we return false. So there you go, guys. Uh, so that's our problem. We head on to the whiteboard, we understand the approach and algorithm, and then we come back and run our code. So let's do that. So these are our two examples that we just discussed in our problem statement. So let's first understand why this problem is important. So in a usual way, a single, singly linked list is we're given a linked list and then we are given a head pointer. So a way to traverse linked list is keep doing next, next, next. And the moment we reach null, we say that, okay, we have traversed the full linked list and we are done. However, when we detect a cycle or when the linked list has cycle, when we keep doing next, 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 it'll remain in cycle. It'll never come to an end because we'll never see a null. So that's why this problem is important. It's important to find if a linked list has cycle or not. So let's read out this algorithm and then uh, we'll come and visualize it. So uh, what we're doing here is we're declaring two pointers, slow and fast. Slow points to head and fast points to head dot next. So we'll keep looping this code uh, till either fast reaches null or fast dot next reaches null. So what we are doing here. So we say that if slow is equal to fast, we say return true. That means we say that yes, we found out cycle. So return true. And while we don't find that, what we do is slow moves on to the next pointer by one but fast moves on to the next pointer by two. So fast is fast dot next next. And if we exit this loop without this condition, then we say return false because there's no loop. So let's see what this actually does, okay? So let's implement this on this linked list. So let's say this is our slow pointer because slow is head. And then let's say this is our fast pointer. So what will happen is uh, fast will move or let's say slow will first move. So slow will come here and fast will jump to two pointers. So fast will be here. And in the next iteration, fast will jump here. However, slow will be here. Okay. So in our next iteration, fast would be next, next, so next, next. So fast would come here and slow will come here. So you notice that slow and fast now both are pointing to the same node and slow is equal to fast. Then we return true saying it has cycle. So let's apply same algorithm to this uh, example. So our slow is here, fast is here. So fast will move to two nodes, slow will move here. Now in next iteration, fast will move to here and slow will move to here. So obviously our fast is null, we come out of the loop and we return false and we say the linked list doesn't have cycle. So that's the gist of the approach. We have two pointer, one moving slowly and one moving fast. And if there is a cycle, eventually they'll meet at some point, right? Because it's a cycle. And if we find that if they meet at one point, then we say return true. If they don't meet at any point, if fast is so fast that it reaches null, then we say return false. So that's the approach. Let's head to the our computer and then let's run the code and confirm it. Okay guys, this is our final code. This is Java code. We also have C-sharp code. Both are exactly same. Uh, and it's pretty much same to what we discussed on the whiteboard. So let's just simply run it and confirm that we see the expected output. So there you go. The first list, it has cycle. The second list, it doesn't have cycle. So uh, there you go guys. This is short and sweet simple code to detect if a linked list has cycle or not. Uh, I'll put the link to both the code uh, in the description below. You guys can refer it. And then as usual, if you guys like the video, learn something new, give me thumbs up and let me know your feedback suggestion in comments and then subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you in next one.